Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies, my friends. We're on the 8th episode and we're back on the Project Ozone Life mod pack, my friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a brilliant day. I've been a busy bee since the last episode. In fact, I'm having so much fun with this pack at the moment that I'm actually recording this episode straight after the last one. Hey! That's pretty awesome. So, I have discovered a few things since the last episode. First of which, I managed to obtain this thing, the Lava Charm. I got this from a loot bag, and I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing with the loot bags back at base in just a bit. But, uh, I'm going to give this thing a quick go. If my suspicion is correct, it should provide some sort of immunity from lava, rather like the Terraria Lava Charm uh, that exists as well. So, if I just... I mean, I'll just jump down, right? Whee! Okay, not taking damage. Fantastic. What the heck is this place? Ooh, interesting. Okay, now I am taking damage. Ah! Get out of here, you blithering moron! Well, after a fashion, I made it back, my friends. So, check it out, guys. This is really starting to fill up. I didn't realize just how much RF this thing can actually hold. Ten million is currently at nearly 1.2 million so if i put that in there uh that that should charge up real quick oh my goodness me yep that is a quick charge <laughs> oh that's amazing one of the other things i've actually gone ahead and done is i've claimed the chunks around my base and uh, i chunk loaded some of them uh mainly these ones here so i could actually keep this thing charging while i'm sort of afk slash off the server so when i come back in another day this thing will probably be full up so you know that's pretty cool but anyways guys i digress so as you can see this is what i've done since the last episode this is an obsidian chest i'm pretty sure this is the highest end chest you can get in the iron chest chests mod i could be wrong but check all of this stuff out my friends this is a bag opener from the loot bags mod it does exactly what you think it does if i was for example to put a common loot bag in there as you can see it automatically opened the loot bag and now everything's been filtered down from the hopper to the obsidian chest so if i go ahead and convert some of these into some lower end loot bags can i still get carbon yes i can okay so uh boom 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 Boom, boom, boom. Let's have a look. Let's see what kind of things we've got going on in here. Look, we've got like loads of obsidian, angel heart vial, soul bound enchanted book. What? Anyways, uh, let's carry on though. There we go. Uh, just more, more blocks, please. Thank you very much. Right, so now if I just start chucking some of this stuff in, uh, we've got luck. Upon what do we need to... Wait, hang on a minute. Stored XP... I'm looking for luck. There we go. So each luck, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Boom. And then what? Uh, 180. Ooh. Okay. Why not? Why not? That sounds like a cool idea. We've got Fortune 1 on this thing now. Hey, not bad. So what's it actually looking like? Uh, 153 out of 180. If I put that in, it's going to bring it up to 161, which I guess is pretty cool. So, yeah. Not bad. This thing is really starting to get somewhere, isn't it? We are finally going to be going ahead and organizing our storage. It has been way too long time coming. Way too long a time coming. Wait, does that make sense? I have no idea. But you guys get what I mean, don't you? If you're excited for the episode, a big old thumbs up will be super appreciated. In the meantime, we have a witch to kill. You son of a gun. Get out of here. Yeah. What you going to do, son? You just got absolutely destroyed. Right, let's go put this loot bag inside of the uh, dispenser over here, or the opener. Uh, there you go. And what do we get? Uh, some torches and uh, and a black lotus. Okay, great. Well, not a great deal of stuff, basically. Fantastic. But guys, today, like I say, we are going to be finally making a start on the storage area. I'd also, if I managed to get that done in a fairly quick amount of time, I'd also like to go ahead and uh, replicate this farm design over this side and maybe get some more quadrants going. I have no idea if we are going to be able to do that today. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of things we need to go ahead and store away. We've got mob drops. We've got cobblestone. I mean, come on, man. We've got all of this stuff to the point where I don't even think we're going to need this thing anymore. Or, at the very least, what I could do is link it up to a storage drawer and then just have it automatically go inside of it. I think that'd be a cool idea anyway. So... Let me go ahead, let's go ahead and make a bunch of storage drawers, I guess. We, I think we've already got some, by the way. Uh, and also, just before we start, look at this. 
Yeah, what I decided to do is I chunk loaded my base. So if we go on to claim chunks, then the areas in red means that it's chunk loaded, right? So by having my base be chunk loaded, this has been charging up while I've been away. So that's fantastic. So yeah, all right guys, I'm going to go and get myself some resources together and then we're going to make a start. Alrighty folks, so check it out, a little bit of a progress update, we've got one of the banks of uh, storage doors pretty much done now, so as you can see, got quite a nice little area, a grand total of 20 uh, 2 by 2 storage drawers, so a grand total of... Uh, uh, quite a lot. So, yeah, that's brilliant. So, yeah, uh, things are looking good so far, my friends. Now, as far as I know, if I just grab, like, one of each of these things, I'm pretty sure what the, uh, what the draw controller does is, uh, so my inventory is full currently. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it, but if I just go ahead and, uh, is it, is it I right-click or something? Do I just, like, right-click? Aha! Okay, yeah. You just regularly right-click, and then as you can see, everything wooden is out of my inventory, and they are now within the storage drawers. If I shift-click, I can get the entire stack out, or a stack. Uh, yeah, looking good. So, yeah. Alright, so now that we've got that figured out, doing the rest of the uh, storage drawers, the, the banks of storage drawers, should be a lot easier, so, yeah. Uh, the other thing I have noticed is this thing here, the compacting drawer. Now, sadly, because of my lack of redstone, uh, I can only make a very limited amount of these. Now, as far as I know, what these do is it, like, it, look, it compresses certain things. So, for example, if we have, like, copper ore pieces, what I believe it does is it compacts it down into the chunks. So, copper ore pieces would be compressed down into copper ore chunks. And then maybe from there we could, like, fully automize things and then, like, have it go off to the smeltery or something. But in which case, what would make logical sense is if I had the bank... Of, uh, of all of the ore pieces maybe on this side and then we have like a pipe going way over there into the thing, right? Would that make sense? I feel like that would make sense. But then again, I think we'd need like little transfer pipes out of the back of every single one. Hmm. In which case, what might be a good idea is if I have a completely separate bank of drawers like over in that section over there and then have that go all the way into the smeltery. Would that make more sense? I think it would. So, yeah. Okay. Well, in which case, the, the rest of these storage drawers are just for like generic storage, right? So, maybe we've got things like wood. We've got all sorts of wood. We've got all of the different types. You know, th there's just loads and loads of things that we could put into these drawers. Honestly, it's going to be incredible. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to finally having everything organized. I think that's one of the reasons I don't play on the server very much is because, you know, I'm, I'm just really unorganized and it gets on my nerves. And it's my own doing, isn't it? It really is. Like, Python, why are why, why you no know organized things? Like, come on, man. Are you a bit of a doofus brain? Come on, brother. <laughs> Oh dear. But uh, yeah, everything is looking good so far, my friend. So I'm thinking, actually, what might be a good idea is if I go ahead and put the respective planks next to the wood, right? So if I just right click all of that in there, so maybe in this one, let's maybe like grab out a tiny bit of jungle wood and put that in there. So there we go. We know there's jungle wood in there. Let's grab out a couple bits of a case here, do the exact same. There we go. And at the very least, the thing is going to look really, really nice with all of the little items on the storage drawers, right? I think it'll look cool anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit more. Again, maybe we'll just grab out a little bit more like this and then uh, chuck that in there. And then, of course, we've got like dark oak. We've got all sorts of stuff going on here, my friends. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more like that. And there we go. What is the missing wood? Uh, what is the missing wood? I do believe that it is going to be birch. Do we not have birch wood anywhere? Huh. Well, we've got birch sapling, so at the very least, I could go ahead and, uh, you know, grab some birch wood, right? There we go. There we go. Fandabatastic. So, let's go ahead and uh, vein mine that real quick. And now we can... Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We've got, like, quick leaf decay. How do I forget that? I don't know. I'm such a dumb idiot sometimes. It's unbelievable. But there we go, my friends. You see, even that, even that just looks a lot better than what it was looking like before, huh? Huh? You guys agree with me there? I think it looks a lot better already. So maybe all we do now is just grab out all of the wood that we have and then just, you know, tidy it away. Because like I say, it's about time. So yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to replicate the storage bank like all over the place. Like on all four corners of the, well, all four sides of the somewhat circle we've got going on here. Obviously, we can't do it diagonally because we've got the pathways going off into the mystical agriculture garden areas. So yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's just do this thing. Let's just do it. Like Shia LaBeouf. Come on, man. Let's do this thing. 
All right, guys, thought I'd give you guys another progress update. Now, as you can see, we've now got three banks of these storage drawers going, and all is looking good. I've sort of categorized them as well by what they are. So, for example, we've got a section over here for mob drops, and then we've got some mob beds over here. Maybe we could start making a collection of those. Uh, we've got all of the wards here. Obviously, we did that previously. We've got ourselves some dirt, a bunch of stone-related stuff on this side. We've got all the sort of random generic blocks, you know, not really categorized by any stretch. Uh, and then we've got the valuable blocks everywhere, emerald blocks, iron, copper, uh, charcoal is in there as well. Now, as you can see, what I've also begun to do is start to structure this place a little bit in that uh, we now have little doorways here which lead into the uh, little mystical agriculture garden areas. So that's looking nice. So we've got entrances all over the place, man. It's looking good, isn't it? Like, honestly, once this thing is done, I think this is going to look absolutely banging. I think it's going to be an amazing looking little base once it's all up and running so yeah the only thing i am sort of running into as an issue is i mean look at this we've only got one block here so i'm not entirely sure what to do with this tree i was saying that i wanted to keep it for the sake of oh hey this has been here since the start but i don't know I don't know, maybe I could like somehow move the stalk more to the center. Maybe that would look pretty cool. Then it would still sort of have the feel of the original place. But I don't know, in all honesty. I, I honestly don't know. So maybe what we do is a poll on screen. Do you guys think we should get rid of this tree in favor of having a really nice central base area? Or do you think we should keep it and try to adapt it a little bit? Leave your votes in the poll and I will do my best to do whichever one is the more popular option. So, yeah. But yeah, as you can see, everything's looking good. We've got the cobblestone generator. We've got a bunch of draw controllers now. Dudes, this is honestly looking pretty nice. Even from the outset, it's looking pretty good. We've got like a little mini overhang. Almost like a, almost like a hut style roof, right? I'm liking it. I am honestly liking this. I am, uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I really, really am. Uh, in the meantime, I kind of want to go ahead and uh, put this in what is now becoming a sort of bit of a sort of mini utility area, I guess. So why don't we grab out a little bit of slabbage? Uh, there we go. Not entirely sure how much we need. Maybe 12. I think that'll be enough. So let's go ahead. Oh, hello. Oh, completely forgot I had flight going on there. <laughs> how did I forget that I've got flight? I'm such a dumb, dumb doofus. Right, anyways, uh, Sterling Generator. We've got the capacitor here. Maybe we set that down. Uh, maybe we just chuck it down here, maybe. So let's put that in there. We put the solar panel on top, and then away it goes. Well, not away it goes, because obviously it's full. But yeah, yeah, you get what I mean. We've got ourselves a bit of a power bank going on here. In fact, let's go and fill that up. Oh, look at how quickly it's going. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, now this should start going back up. Right? I mean, that's now charging up. Uh, that should be going in there. Why, why is it not going in there? It should be. Configure I.O. Ah, okay. Uh, input, output, input. Input. So this is now charging? Yes? Yeah, there we go. Eight RF per tick. Oh my god, I feel so rich right now. Not really. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, there we go. We've got a little bit of a utility area going on there. I mean, I'm down to have that happen. That's pretty cool. All right. So as you can see, I mean, most of these chests are like like half full at this point. Aside from these ores, we need to make a bit of a start on the ore chunk bank over this side. I'm thinking we just do like a, a massive corner just full of drawers. I think that would be the best way of doing it. So uh, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and do that. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. As you can see, this place is pretty much all cleaned up aside from a couple double chests. But, you know, uh, there's, you know, various other bits and bobs here that I still need to sort out. But for the most part, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to say that this place is pretty much up and running and operational. And, you know, you've seen all of the uh, various bits and bobs we've got going on over here. So let's go ahead and uh, check out over here where I have two more bays of uh, storage chests. As you can see, lots and lots of things going on here. We've got two banks. We've got a whole bunch of ore chunks there. Or, or wait, ore pieces. Then the ore chunks. Then the ores themselves. Ore carrots. We've got the bars. We've got the items, armor, and various other bits and bobs. Awesome. All right, folks, so how about we go ahead and make a start on quickly getting this uh, mystical agriculture area going, huh? So as you can see, we have three water sources in each of the quadrants, and it's going to be pretty simple, hopefully. So with the use of the carbon jetpack, I should be able to just go under, right? A lot easier, isn't it? Hey. As long as my jetpack doesn't run out, 
and hopefully it won't because that would be rather embarrassing, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Ha! Then we should be okay, right? So how about we do this one over here? We just need to... If I, much easier if I just do that, huh? Probably much more efficient as well. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's continue on. We've got one down here, here, and here. And then finally, a bunch just down here. So one, a two, and a three. And of course, we could put in the bottom sections of these little water pools. So there we go. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty nice and simple. I like it when things are nice and simple. It, it pleases me greatly. It really does. So, let's get all those placed in. And then all we need to do is place in the water source. And then, of course, till the ground. And then away we go. We've got ourselves another mystical aquaculture area going. So, let's grab you. Let's get you chucked in there. Grab you. Get you chucked in there. Grab you. <laughs> you know how it goes. You get chucked in there. And then how about a little bit of you? Let's get you over here. And uh, we've got three more. We're going to need to grab some more water bowls. Uh, I mean, that's fair enough. We've got, like, water sources nearby at this point. So, that's fantastic. Uh, only four of them are needed. So, how about we do that one? Oh, one, two, three, four. Aha! That's all we need. Okay. And then all you got to do is place them in there. And we can finish this thing off. And then away we go. Heck yeah, buddies. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series still. Because uh, I know that I'm going at a lot slower pace than uh, a lot of the other hermits are. But for me, as I've said previously, like I don't really care. I really don't care about how I am pacing myself compared to other hermits. Like, it's not a competition. Like, I really do not feel like it's a competition to see who can get the furthest, the quickest. Like, uh, I, I just go on my own pace. I like to take the time to make things look nice. And that's kind of what I've done here. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and quickly make a bit of a start on this and then once it's all done then uh, I guess it'll be time to end the episode so yeah there we go looking good boys looking good so yeah just getting all of these things done we've got two more major quadrants to do on the opposite end and then symmetrically speaking everything is looking fan dabatastic so, there we go. I'm very much aware that I keep needing to eat as well, which is rather annoying, because that's the only thing that's holding me back from being able to just hold down the click, and then away I go, right? <laughs> All right. Go on, boys. I wish I could vein mine this. Like, I'm holding the vein mine key down, and it doesn't seem to work. Maybe there's some other way of being able to till multiple blocks of ground at the same time, but uh, I have no idea. So, there we go. And then the final section just over here. Uh, there is a bunch of Endermen down there. I could... I mean, I wouldn't mind if those guys would, like, go away or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would be brilliant. Oh. Well, that's the end of that. Well, guys, I think on that note, anyway, you get the general gist of what I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this episode, of course, a big old thumbs up would be super, super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on future content, my friends. And just quickly, let's get that all done. But guys, as always, if you have any suggestions for future episodes, he head down to the comments area and let me know what your suggestions are. I'm always open to your guys' feedback and suggestions as I was just saying. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And guys, I will see you in the next episode.